Okay, so I'm going to start UV unwrapping. And um, as you can see, I've hidden my references. So I've just hidden this collection. And also, I've put them all into the first layer. So first thing I want to do is you just make a big copy. So I'll just select everything, except for the camera and lights. And I'll hit Shift D to duplicate. Right click so that it stays in place. Press M and I'll just move to a new collection and I'll call this um, High Poly. Okay, and this one I'll just disable for now so that I can just focus on this. So I'll hit Alt H just to see everything I've been hiding. And it looks like, so all the pieces that we know are going to be in a high poly, let's just select the both of these and yep, just the both of these. And I will just press M and move to the high poly. And for the low poly, if I can find it, so it is this revolving barrel object. So I'm going to just real quick um, remove the bevel, the subdivision, and I'll keep the boolean, but I have to remove this subdivision first. So in this case, I'll just keep the boolean and I'll just hide this. And now we got this mesh. Okay, so make sure you save your file. And now what I will do is to just start removing all the modifiers and start unwrapping them. So as we go, I'm going to just remove the bevel and the array for now i'll just keep them just to keep things simple and so what we want to do is to just go into select select sharp edges and before we go there i want to just add it to my quick favorites and the menu will look a bit different because i have other add-ons on so i would always just use this for now and for now i'll just set it to 60 degrees i think by default it's at 30 and i'll select these sides as well but it's not really needed so i'll just set it to 60 and i'll just do a mark c mark sharp and and then I'll add a seam on the bottom. So whenever you're UV unwrapping, you always have to think that think of them like um, wrapping paper. So you wanna you wanna add cuts as if you would with a scissor to wrapping paper to just make them lie down flat on a table. So I guess this one's done. And all I'll do is to just make sure that my mat cap is set to object, and I will just go to viewport display, and I'll just change it to another color. And I'll just show that they are done. And I'll save it and I'll continue on to the next object. So for this one, I can definitely delete these two faces because we won't really need them. And I'll just remove the bottom one. Now, um, for this part, we are definitely going to use the array. But for this one, there are definitely some paint effects that I had before that um will make it difficult for us to, to use the array because um, if I were to show you the image, like some of the paint effects, we definitely don't want them to be evenly splashed across. We want them to be a lot, a lot more distinct. So I'll just apply my array modifier first. So I'll remove the bevel and apply the array. And the seams are all pretty good. You would just put one seam at the end and it's already done. So um, just make sure that you just unwrap it real quick and this one as well. So I want to just go to the UV editing just to see if there's any stretching. So I guess there isn't over here. And whoops. And for this one, so just make sure you turn on display stretch. So I'm going to start with this one as well. I'll just delete the back face because we don't really need them. And we will just remove the bevel and we'll keep the array, but we'll make sure that it is in on the inside and we'll do a cut over here as well. So now it will just unwrap as a strip. So just make sure you always put a seam at wherever you see like a 90 degree angle. And let's do this one. So this one, I'll definitely delete this back face because we don't need it. And I will a slash to go into local view. Definitely add a seam over here. And for now, I'll just add a seam at the bottom and it should unwrap pretty well. And if you want to straighten these, we can definitely straighten these out later. But for now, let's just leave it as it is. And let me just give all of these the color so that we know that it is unwrapped. I mean, it is seamed. I'll put this, take this color. Okay, so now we get to do this one. I'll delete the back face. And I will add a seam on the bottom as well as a seam on this face. 
So now, unwrap, and it should unwrap pretty well. Give it the color. And now we can work on this part. So um, we definitely should have closed this face from before, so I'll just do it now. And it's going to be pretty simple. You just control select all these and press, press F to fill it. And in this case, we need to apply the mirror modifier because we don't want it to be mirroring in the middle because people can definitely tell. And I'll just remove the bevel. Okay, so I'll just add in select sharp. And yeah, that's pretty good. Mark seam. And over here, just add a seam over there as well. I'll just press you and unwrap and make sure that um for these ones you just dissolve this edge for now press x and dissolve and just do poke faces because sometimes um blender's triangulation just um, stretches everything out quite a lot so you definitely need to be be careful of those but most of the time it just does a good job so i'll give this over here okay so time to work on this one so I'll remove the bevel and I guess in this case, we can keep the mirror modifier because find the mirror from left to right. I'll just select sharp edges and I'll mark seam and mark sharp. And right click and UV unwrap. And now it is good. So this one, remove bevel and I'll keep the mirror modifier. And I definitely have to make these two seams and sharps.
And now we have one part which I can't find anymore. So this part. So just make sure that you um select your sharps, mark it as a seam as well as a sharp. And if I were to try to unwrap it now, oh, looks like it unwraps pretty decently. Let me also just make sure that yep, these ones are all caught. So yeah, I'll just stick with this for now. There is this one more area. And let me just check if it's in high poly. Okay, so I'm just going to select this and move it over to the main collection. Whoops. And let me just hide the high poly collection again. So now we have this. So we just need to add a seam to the bottom. And delete the two faces on the sides. And now we have this one as well. Okay, so um, just make sure that you um, apply all your skills. So just select everything and apply your skill. Go into edit mode and hit U and unwrap. So now you'll have a pretty big unwrap. And there's definitely a lot of space that's not being used. So you can definitely just um, move it like this. Inside the little circles. So if you have a free add-on called UV squares, you can definitely um, square all your strips of UVs and when you pack them again, it'll definitely make them a lot faster. For example, if I were to just press L to just select these one by one, sorry, not, not UV squares, um, text tools. Then you can definitely just get away with just squaring them and just selecting all of them and hitting pack again. Pack island. And let's just say that we're happy with this for now. Maybe this one as well. I can just snap it and pack islands. Okay, there's definitely a lot more time you can spend on it. Or if you have the UV pack master add on, you can just press pack and it'll just do it as well as it can for you. And it's a pretty quick process but I don't want to spend too much time packing it. So now I'll just get ready with my high poly.